that we know them worship an unknowing God, but we worship the knowing God. This morning, just open your mouth and bless the knowing God. This morning, open your mouth and tell God that God, I live, I give you all the glory because I worship with God, the knowing God. Just open your mouth and bless him. Just open your mouth and appreciate him. Just open your mouth and worship him like never before. He deserves it. 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 God. We deserve our praise. We give our glory to the mighty We thank you for the prayer of life. We thank you for the prayer of life. This morning, oh Lord, we bless you. 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 We mighty you for your holy name, Lord. We glorify your holy name, Lord. Lord, be in the mighty name of Jesus, be exalted in our life, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Le prata bo kanda le prata bo kanda le kwa bo kanda le sata bo kanda le kwa bo kanda le prata bo kanda le sata bo kanda le kwa bo kanda le prata bo kanda le kwa bo kanda le sata bo kanda le kwa bo kanda le prata bo kanda le kwa bo kanda le sata 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 bo kanda le just open your mouth and bless him. Just open your mouth and bless him in the mighty name of Jesus. He is the one who cure all your diseases. He is the one who satisfy your mouth all with good things. Just open your mouth. He has done a great job upon your life. He has done a great job upon your life. He protect you. He go ahead of you. He live the night and night and be with you. He is the one of God who care for you. Who care for you. When everybody rejected you, he is the one who will be on your side. In the mighty name of Jesus. When everybody rejects you, he is the one. Who be we honor your holy name Just in the mighty name of Jesus. Morning, and bless him, bless his name in the mighty name of Jesus. When your bosses leave you, when the, all people attend their back against you, the Lord does not leave you. Just open your mouth this morning and bless him, bless him, bless him. When it seems you are giving up, the Lord is so too on your side in the mighty name of Jesus. When you are about to give up, the Lord will be on your side. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. This morning, Lord, we magnify your holy name. This morning, Lord, we glorify your holy name. This morning, Lord, be exalted, be exalted, Lord, be exalted, Lord. In the name of Jesus, O God, we thank you for the breath of life. 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 Oh, in the name of Jesus, O God, Father, we thank you this morning, O God. We glorify. Your holy name of God. I am that I am. I am that I am. The King of Kings of God. The Lord of Lords of God. We thank you. We thank you, God. We appreciate your goodness. We appreciate your goodness of God. We appreciate your goodness of God. Your mercy of God that endures forever. Your mercy that endures forever. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Lepra chabu kanda lekwa bu kanda. Lepra chabu kondo lekwa bu kanda. Lepra chabu kondo lekwa bu kanda. Lepra Father, we thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We worship your holy name. This morning, Lord, we appreciate you, Lord. We pray. appreciate you. We appreciate you, God. You have fire your protest as a family of God. Have fire your protest as a family of God. Be exalted this morning. Be exalted this morning. Be glorified this morning, God. In the name of Jesus, le prata bo kundo le sata bo kundo le kwa bo kade le sata bo kundo le prata bo kundo le prata bo kade le sata bo kundo le kwa bo kade le prata bo kade le kwa bo kade le sata bo kade le prata bo kundo le prata bo kundo le kwa bo kade le sata bo kade le sata bo kundo le kwa bo kade in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, we thank you, God, we thank you, God, we thank you, God, we thank you. Thank you, God. We magnify your holy name. We glorify your holy name. Hallelujah. We are continuing to pray. We are continuing to pray. And this morning, we are going to commit our service unto the hands of the living God. 
we are going to invite the presence of God to come and take castle control. We are going to tell God that God, we are weak, but thou art mighty. So Lord, come and have your way this morning that whatever we are going to do, we want your presence to move in different way altogether. We gathered here every time. I will want this morning's service to be extraordinary because the Bible says we should forget our former things. Behold, I am doing new things. We are praying for new things. We are praying for new expectation. We are praying for new presence. We are praying for new glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Just open your mouth this morning and invite the presence of God. You are telling God that God, I don't want to live here as I came to save. I want to be a Jacob and meet you at the battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Just open your mouth this morning. Have an encounter with the Lord. Have an encounter with the Lord. Let the presence of God move personally in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we need your presence. Your presence, O Lord, 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 Father, we pray, O God, we pray for your presence, O God, we ask, O God, Father, your presence will be with us, O Lord, we pray for the presence, O Lord, your presence, O God, a new beginning, 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 O God. A new Lord, chapter in our lives, of God. Lord, let your presence of God come, of God, and renew us, of God, revive us, of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your presence come, of God. 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 Let your presence come, of God
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just want to continue to thank the Lord and praise his name. Give him praise this morning for what he has done for you and what he will continue to do for you. We just want to worship him because he is a great God. He is a mighty God. He is an awesome God. We just want to worship him. We just want to thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his greatness. Thank him for his faithfulness, for how far he's brought you, for what he has done for you. Just want to have a moment and just give him thanks. Just want to thank him because of how good he is, how big he is. He's a big God. He's not a man who never lies. God is good. He is good. We just want to praise his name. We just want to worship his name. Just want to worship his holy name this morning. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you today. We thank you, God, because you've never failed us. You've never turned on us, oh God. You've always been there. We thank you for watching over us. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name.
the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. You are bigger, you are greater, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger.
bodies, bodies are still being raised, giants are still being slain, with God we believe, yes we can see, that wonders are still what you, we are here, we are here for We need 
need a move in our life, oh God. Therefore, Father, this morning we ask you to come and take your place. Bodies are being raised. Bodies, you are still raising the dead, Lord. You can raise everything, oh Lord, that is dead in us, oh God. Therefore, Father, come and move us, oh God. Move us as your children, oh God, Father, this morning. We need a move in our lives, oh God. In every area of our lives, Father, we need you to move us. Move us, oh God. Move us, oh God, Father, this morning. Touch your children, oh God, Father, this morning. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Oh God, this morning we ask you, oh God, Father, to move us. As we worship you, oh God, Father, this morning. As we give you all the praise, oh God, Father. Your children, oh God, Father, in your presence, oh God. They are asking for a move, oh God, Father, in their lives, oh God. In our spiritual life, oh God. Father, we ask you to move, Lord. CICC, we need a move. Father, move your church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For moving us and then the saints of God say amen. Amen. amen 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 are you happy to be in the house of God yeah. do you know who you are yeah. are you sure you know who you are yeah. can God say that about you I can't see you're believing amen I want to see you shouting amen, amen. give me a believing amen
the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we sing that song? Do you know that song? Yes, yes, yes. Hosanna, Hosanna,
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you want to take your seat? Smile to the person sitting next to you and take your seat. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Oh, are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Tell the person sitting next to you, I am happy to see you today. <laughs> Please, if you are not happy, don't tell the person. Don't tell the person. <laughs> Amen. You know, you know, today, you, how many of us have joined us praying throughout the week? Praying, fasting, and doing all those things. Amen. Yes. And you know, yes. But you've been through. And you, you've overcome. Amen. You know, today as we were praying at dawn, one word kept going through my mind, ringing through my spirit, and that word was recognition. Recognition. I even felt like I should, we should pray about it, but we did not pray about it. But I think I should talk about it for like a minute or two. And I think the recognition that kept coming has to do with the camp that we are going to have from tomorrow through to Friday. It is... I said recognition, but people did not recognize it. That's why still they did not make any noise about it. We are having our camp <laughs> from tomorrow, 6 a.m. through to Friday. Amen. And from Friday, the 5th, 6 p.m. to Sunday, the 7th, we are having our summer convention. Amen. Hey, I think all these things I'm saying, there are flies for them all. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. So, I want all of us to recognize that this is a golden opportunity for all of us. Amen. It's a golden opportunity. If we are not careful, it will pass us by. And I have some few things that I want to read from here. Just three of them. The first one is that hmm, failure to recognize the gift is costing you incredibly. So failure to recognize that this weekend, this week, is a golden opportunity for you will cost you. And God is putting something very close to us, which starts from tomorrow. That if you don't recognize it, you will not benefit from it. So I want all of us to, I know you've registered and you are coming, but prepare your heart, prepare your mind, prepare your spirit that this is a golden opportunity that I cannot miss. I know you went, you were at the camp last year and you are going to be at the camp this year and you are going to be at the convention, yes. But make sure that you come with a prepared heart and a prepared mind to receive. Amen. You see, I'm talking about those that are coming. But if you are not coming to... <laughs> I think by now you should, you should, you should, you should, you should repent and come. Amen. So, I want to encourage all of us that join us for the camp. You know, I talked to some people and they were saying that, oh, they were not able to get all the days off because they have to work and they are working from home. And I said, oh, there are a lot of offices in this particular building, a lot of offices. We can create an office for you. <laughs> if it is not an excuse. <laughs> yes, and you have a lot of internet in the house. <laughs> Amen. But I pray that all of us will be part of this camp. People are traveling from USA to be part. You cannot afford to miss it. Amen. Amen. So join us from tomorrow. And I know that from Monday, it's going to be contagious service every day. Continue, even though it's a camp, it's a contagious service from Monday through to Sunday, and you cannot afford to miss it. Amen. Amen. I think that is the main announcement that we have. And tomorrow, which is the first of August, is our month of breaking strongholds. Breaking strongholds. Amen. Amen. Oh, are you happy to be in the house of the Lord at all? Because I'm not feeling the excitement. I'm not feeling it. 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And I know that every stronghold will be broken. You know, sometimes we talk about strongholds. I'm even thinking about a witch somewhere. Yes, that one is a stronghold, but it's also a stronghold of a character that needs to be broken. Amen. Yes, so this month is, uh, next month is a month of breaking strongholds. And we are starting on a very good note, the camp. The camp. And we are going to bring all strongholds in the camp. And we are going to continue with the convention. Revive us. Oh, oh this week is not going to be I know it's going to be very powerful. Amen. Amen. So see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Amen. Okay. Do you have anyone that visited us for the first time? If today happens to be your first time. Okay. I know that we have Reverend Joseph and his wife in the house. They'll be duly introduced. So say you are welcome to to our church. I'm talking about, I think he did not hear me. Reverend, Reverend Joseph and Mrs. Joseph, the Josephs. Yes. Yes, sir. Can you give me some, because it seems I cannot be here. Yeah. So, God bless you, sir, for being with us. And you are welcome. I know this is also your home. Yes, sir. God bless you. Amen. Shall we take our confession. Thank you, Lord, this morning for being my God, my Father, my Savior, and my Redeemer. I confess that nothing stands between me and my God. You know my voice and you hear my prayer. I know your voice and I'll be your every word. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me, on my family, on the work of my hands, and on our church. Thank you, Lord, for continuous peace, harmony, unity, joy, and love in my life, in my home, and in our church. My heart is purified, my thoughts are purified, and my actions are purified. I'm a vessel unto honor sanctified and continually being used by God for every good work. I dwell in your divine presence and my family dwells in your divine presence. Lord, thank you for CICC and your continuous presence and manifestation in our midst. I'm a contagious Christian and I belong to a contagious church with a contagious message for my community and my world. It is my time of the manifestation of your presence in my health, finances, relationship, and my faith. I receive a great harvest of fruitfulness, of divine grace, and of great impact. I'm blessed to be a blessing all of my days. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Let's prepare our offering. Let's prepare our tithes. Last Friday, we had a half night, and Reverend talked to us about six keys to walking in prosperity. And one of the things that he talked about is that channel your blessings to the house of the Lord. Channel your blessings to the house of the Lord under the Lord. In Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. From verse 5. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Verse 9 says, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. So shall your bands be filled with plenty and your presses shall burst out with new wine. Honor the Lord with your offering. You know, sometimes 
you don't even need to be given exposition on some of these things. It is an understanding and a revelation you should get for yourself that any time you come into the house of the Lord, you bless the house of the Lord. Because you know that there is no better place to sow than a fertile ground. You know, so I want to encourage you, don't allow offerings to be passing you by. Make sure that you give. And if you brought your tithe to you, you want to come and put it on the altar and be faithful. Be faithful with some of these things. You'll be blessed by doing them. By now, you should have realized that keeping certain monies has not led to much. No, it has not at all. So, <laughs> because it, it was not for you in the first place. So, you will not even see what happened to the money and it will be missing. So, honor the Lord with it and you'll be blessed by doing that. I want all of us to do it before the choir even comes to sing. Yeah, so. So, the ashes, please, can you do it now before the choir comes to sing? Yeah. yeah. You, don't, you don't use the song to give offering, no. You can give offering without a song. After that, then we all sing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, sometimes if you are not careful, there will be something we create as cultures. In. It's not a culture that is as if it's like uh, uh, some. No, no. I wanted to say some food, but I know something. Yes, and it's not a combination. It's not a combination. <laughs> Amen. Yes. So let's pray over our offering. And I want you to go around, even as the, the ashes, please, can you start taking offering? And today is the birthday of our own Mr. Kieran. Where is he? And also our, 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 our gorgeous Enoch. Honorable. Honorable. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The way he's taking the offering, please take your time and take the offering. <laughs> Amen. Yes, two powerful men of God. I tell you, we are blessed. Yes. 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 Sir. I'm still waiting for people to give the offering. All these are waiting period. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Yes. Yeah. It's worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Reverend, you've reminded me. You, you did not ask whether it was fragrance or fire for Sharon. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've, ah, okay, you've now okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I asked, and the answer she gave me that is, is, is what did you say? Classified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. and I know in December we will ask Enoch to, and we ask Joel what happened. Go and get your turn and bring it to you. <laughs> You have class with the class will be on class by the way. Be on class by the way. <laughs> Let's pray over our prayer. Father, we thank you so much for an opportunity like this to be a blessing. We pray that even as we give, you honor and remember us. Favor our cause, whatever that we are doing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's welcome the choir. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible assures us that in the end times there shall be troubles and there shall be rumors of war and wars everywhere. But the Bible tells us and it assures us that if there's one thing we can have our hope in and it's that Jesus is the answer. Hallelujah. For all of our troubles, for all of our worries, for everything you could ever think of, he is the answer. If you need healing, he is the answer. If you need salvation, he is the answer. If you need deliverance, he is the answer. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. 
above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today oh above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer Jesus for the world today oh above him there is no other Jesus is the way oh Jesus is the for the world today oh above him there is no other Jesus is one more time, Jesus is, Jesus is the for the world. Oh, 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 Jesus is the way. Sing it again. For the world. Oh, above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is, the Jesus, way. Is, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Oh, and there is no one. Jesus is the way. One more time, Jesus is the answer. Oh, for the world. Above him, there is no other. Sing, Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus is the answer. For the world. Oh, above him there is no one. There's no other. Jesus is the way. If you have some questions in the corner of your mind and traces of discouragement and peace you cannot find, oh, remember that the world. Of God is true, and what He has promised you, He will do for you. Oh, help me sing it! Jesus is the answer for the world. Sing it again above Him, there is no other. Yeah, Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus is the answer. For the world, the world today. oh, above him there is, there is no sing Jesus is the way, is the way. one more time, Jesus, Jesus is the answer. For, the for the world, oh, above him there is no one, come on and sing Jesus, oh, Jesus. For the, for the world today, oh, above him there is no one. Jesus is the way. So if you have some questions in the corners of your mind and traces of discouragement and peace you cannot find, that the word of God is true and what he has promised yeah he will do for you 
Help me sing Jesus. For the world, come on and sing about him. Oh, Jesus is. Oh, Jesus is the answer. For the world, come on and sing about him. There is no other. Jesus is the way. One more time, Jesus. For the world, for the world today. Oh, above him there, there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus. Jesus is the answer. For the world, for the world today. Oh, above him there, there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. The He's the truth and the light. Jesus is Would the you way. put your faith and your trust Jesus in Him? He said, If I be lifted, I will draw way. men unto me. Jesus oh, is the there way. is no other name Jesus by which we can be saved. Yeah, Jesus it's by the, the name way. of Jesus. He is. Jesus is Oh, come on and sing, Jesus is the Jesus way. Is the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Put way. your faith and your trust in Jesus Him. He is. is the way. Oh, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above Him, above Him, there's no Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Oh, above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer. For the world today. Oh, above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Put your hands together for the power. Oh, give them a better hand clap offering. Oh, I think we can clap better than that. We can clap better than that. And I like their uniform very much. I think it's very... Clap for them. Clap for them. Please take your seats for a second. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How many of us have... We're part of this week's prayer and fasting in one form or the other. You did one day, you did two days, you did half a day, you did zero days. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You see, I, f I believe that if we'll be real to ourselves, there have been seasons in our lives that we've been totally worn out from extremely foolish things. Yeah. How many of you have gone to parties back to 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 back? How many of you grew up in an environment where four parties one night is not a big deal at all? How many of you come from an environment where a list is made and texts are sent across of where the next one is and then you gather yourself Sometimes you're half asleep, but you say, I'm just trying to tell you that fasting for one week, going to come for the next week, and having a revival convention that weekend, back to back to back to back, is not a crazy thing. Amen. Yeah, yeah. How many of you work with colleagues who come in on Monday and they can't open their eyes? Yeah. May we wear ourselves out for the Lord. Amen. 
Yes, before we go on, I believe that we give honor to whom Anna is due. As a church, we acknowledge, you know, men of God, women of God. We don't take it lightly. And when they come to fellowship with us, we give them that due honor. So I want us, you know, we want greetings from Tex and Caicos. Let's welcome Reverend Isaac and his wife. Mrs. Jacqueline. Oh, I am come and say hello to us. In um, okay, I should have spoken French. Viens ici. That's wrong. Okay. Still vous plaît. Mm. Viens ici, s'il vous plaît. Yes. God bless you, Reverend. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Me, what, you came to translate. You can come, come. Okay, then get, then get so, a microphone. My, she's my best endeavor. Yeah. Thank you so much. I mean, some of us can understand the French, so it's for those of you who can't understand. Yeah. For those of you who can't understand. Yeah. Hi. I'm happy to greet you in the name of Jesus this morning. I'm very flattered to be here today. And I feel that I am home. You are home. You are home. You are home. Moi sincère dans ça m'a dit historiquement. I'm very sincere in what I'm saying. Parce que les moi pep noir qui sont en Afrique nous même ça rappelle histoire comment leur t'a déporté et papa maman frère etc pour venir dans Amérique là donc lorsque me retrouver me sentir me trouver sous moi. Um, what he said, so basically, <laughs> in summary, <Next> he's, interpreter. <laughs> in summary, he's pleased when he sees like the black nation that comes from Africa and we can come together and we can worship because it reminds of him of his ancestry, his mothers and his fathers, and he feels that we are all family. Okay. In summary. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Ya, yeah, I'm mm. vraiment content lorsque depuis me venir là m'aller dans plusieurs l'autre église et la homme pratiquement me senti c'est là la caille moi. Oh, he said coming here to visit he has visited different churches but this is the place where he feels that it it feels like home. Et welcome qui m'était trouvé l'aime te vinn là l'autre si mon moi marcher dans l'autre l'église he says that when he came the first time around, he went to visit the other churches that his other children goes to, because his children goes to other different churches. But he was like, he felt that when he came here, this is the place where he got the best welcome. Non seulement ça, l'église n'a été bien recevoir, mais pasteur a été fait une invitation, et bien moi, après moi, nous sommes capables. Yeah, so not only that he was only welcome, but the pastor had personally invited him in his office to have a personal chat with him, and he really appreciated that. And I want to say thank you, Pastor White, Pastor White, thank you for saying that I want to thank you for the grace of the Lord for the good leadership that you have. Right. So he wants to thank God. He thanks you personally, and he thanks you as well. And he wants to say, you know, he's really grateful of how he's been received, and he wants to bless you guys. You received the blessing. Mbele wesi mdava atiri, paske debi debo mikrofon nam la kai mwen pa bleri metli kiti mwesi mdava atiri. Right. So he said he's bringing this to an end because he talks a lot. So unless you take the mic from him, he won't stop because he feels like he's home. Mbele 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 share selma kel kelke segon your testimony asam avek no. He wants to share for a few seconds just a short testimony. L'année passée, l'homme de Venise, last year when he came, et moi-même avec Madame, on était vraiment dans une situation qui était vraiment difficile. Him and his wife were in a very difficult situation. Nous avons cinq filles en Venise. There are five kids here. Trois filles, deux deux garçons. Three girls and two boys. Et lorsque nous venions, on était vraiment, on était vraiment trouvé dans une situation qui était difficile. Yeah, and when they came, them and their children, they were in a very difficult situation. Ils ont été gagnés en pile défi devant eux. They had a lot of difficulties ahead of them. Et tous les gagnés quatre n'ayant été gagnés défi devant eux, ils étaient capables de terminer avec l'université. Four of them were struggling with universities and trying to finish their studies. Ça a été vraiment difficile. It was very difficult for them. 
Lorsque ici, and when he came to the church here, et pratiquement, nous n'avons pas adoré, c'est vrai. Moi, en tant que pasteur, je me sens que j'ai un peu de problème. Ok, ils étaient worshipping avec nous, mais ils ont senti qu'ils étaient vraiment struggling. Parce que le problème de Simon, il était chargé sous la tête. Parce qu'il était chargé sous la tête. Parce qu'il était chargé sous la tête. En tant que humain. As a human. Moi, j'ai oublié que la parole de Dieu dit. He forgot that what the word of God said. Décharge le fardeau, vous mettez sur Jésus. That re release your burdens onto Christ. Et après, Pasteur Pasteur Christophe Brechet. And after Pastor Chris spoke. Et il t'a fait appel. And he did the appeal. Et il t'a demandé pour les gens qui ont des problèmes, plus particulièrement étudiants, pour capable avancer devant. And when he had asked people who had problems, especially the students, to come forward. Et il y a une fille qui a un gros défi devant qui a crié en pile. And one of his daughters who was really struggling was crying a lot. Et il t'a chité pas de l'élever. She was sat down, she didn't want to get up. Et il t'a exercé l'idée à chier par un son défi, avancer devant. And as a parent, I exercised my authority and I told her, go forward. Et tout était là même le jour, tous les cinq étaient là. All five of them were there that day. Et me virer des à gauche, j'avais me dit tout avance devant. And I made all of them come forward. Et me t'élever quand peut tout. And I stood with them. Et puis pratiquement me t'exercer foi. And practically I exercised my faith. Me t'rejoindre foi. And I found my faith again. Avec appel que pasteur t'a fait. With the appeal that the pastor had made. Effectivement bien aimé dans les Seigneurs. And effectively. Année ça me tournait. This year I came back. Me vinn réjoui. I came to rejoice. Na 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 graduation tous les quatre. In the graduation of four of my children. Deux pas défini université dans partie médicale. Two finished their studies in the medical field. Ils ont diplômé dans la gestion. One in finance. Et les garçons, ils ont gradué dans la architecture et ils ont fait un master dans l'architecture. Et mon fils a son bachelor en architecture et aussi a son master. Je n'ai seulement. 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 Je n'ai Merci Pasteur Chris. Thank you Pasteur Chris. Merci Pas. Thank you Pasteur Gloria. Tu fais que au bail moins chance. That you gave me the chance. Pour bail bon Dieu action de grâce. To give God the glory this morning. C'est pas là où tu ne back to Turks and Caicos. It's not only when I go back to Turks and Caicos. Mais ici à ces premiers églises moi. But here is my church here. C'est l'église noire pareil moi. It's my black church here. C'est l'église sœur moi. It's the church of my brothers and sisters. My brothers, the church of my cousins, I love you. May God bless you. I release the blessing of God. May this church be a source of blessing as a reference. The same way in Isaiah, the God, the word of God declares. God is going to do something new. God is going to do something new. Before the Bon Dieu prend son bagage tout neuf. Bon Dieu prend son bagage tout neuf. Combien de monde le recevra? Miracle matin, saisis miracle, saisis délivrance. Merci beaucoup. Que le Seigneur bénisse nous. Madame, oh, put your hands together. Madame, we parle même pas en pile. Madame, we parle même pas en pile. Oh, she can say hello to us. Madame, we parle même pas en pile. She doesn't like to talk a lot. Ma passe seulement pour quelques secondes. But she's just going to say hello. L'Église, bon Dieu bénisse. Church, God bless you. Yes, I say thanks to God that we have a chance to be here this morning to worship together with the saints of this church. Last year when I came, I didn't speak. But this morning, I have a joy because I'm here. I will worship with you. I say thanks to God. Madam Pastor, thank you, Pastor Gloria. You are a valiant woman. You, Pastor Chris, you are a strong man. We say thanks for everyone who's sitting here today. Bon Dieu qu'on est. God knows you. Bon Dieu qui a un plan pour vous. God has a plan for you. Nous pas besoin parler plus pour nous retourner de ça parce que c'était dit. I don't need to repeat what Pastor has already said. Mais nous remercions nous. But I say thank you. Seulement à dire. Only saying. Keep God strong. Keep hold of God. He has a plan for you. God doesn't pay the start. You see, you sit here. He has a plan for you all the way through the end. He said in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. 
plan de malheur pour vous. He doesn't have a plan to do you wrong. Mais il a un plan de paix, He has a plan of peace, a plan of joy, a plan of, joy, a plan of grace. Qu'est be Jésus? Hold on Et puis to au Jesus. Jour, yes. All the way to the end. Couronne, you will be crowned. Lui réservé pour. That he has reserved bon for you. Venir. God wow. bless you. Pastor wow, Chris. Wow, wow, wow. Pastor Chris. Avant d'aller. Okay. Shamika, nous te passé l'autre pour te venir pour te offrir ici. Ok. Shamika. Non, tu n'as pas passé Shamika à l'autre pour te offrir ici. Ok, that he had told Shamika to bring her offering here. Si elle ne va pas te offrir, nous besoin de l'aider au fils. Oh, if Shamika ne doesn't bring her offering to this church, Please, she does. She hold her does. accountable. Okay, okay. <laughs> hold her accountable. She does. She does. Do you have to I got you. 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 I got your back. I got your back. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, put your hands together for the Josephs. Oh, we, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank God for your lives. You know, the, since they walked in here last year, they've also been a blessing to the church. You know, even when we decided to finish paying off the mortgage, they also partook in it. And um, yes, yeah, so, and we just want you to let you know that we have finished paying for it. So the building is paid for. The building is paid for. And um, your daughter is being faithful. She does. <laughs> if you were not doing it, you would have seen. <laughs> so this is, this is a reminder to all of you that your parents taught you how to type that you don't. One day they'll come and stand on the pulpit and double check whether you have been doing it. Or... Reverend. God bless you, Reverend Isaac. <laughs> amen, amen. What a great testimony for four of your children to graduate in one year. It's an awesome thing. I mean, some of you, the way you are struggling to finish your dissertation, you can appreciate the joy and the glory in this season. Amen. I want us to just bow our heads in, and um, prepare our hearts for the word of God as we invite our dear sister to bless us. I want you to speak to God. You know, we have a great week ahead of us. We have a great season. This has been our month of learning about Anakazo, that force, that compelling grace to do what we have to do. We want to just speak to the Lord, that Lord, as the month of July has come to an end and all that you have said, that we should go out there and win souls for you. We should go out there and compel the lost and compel the lost. This morning, we just want to bring our hearts to you, all that we have to you. And if you can use it, Lord, use it. We lay it at your feet, O oh Lord. You want to speak to God. The devil keeps distracting us. The devil keeps distracting us.
There's just so much to be done, no oh Lord. So many souls to be won. Oh Lord, this world is falling apart. Dying for love from a broken heart. Oh, hear a mind, send me. Do what I have seems so small, but I want to give it all to you. You said the harvest was great, but Lord, looks like the workers are late. It's getting hard to understand how they ignore your great command. Oh, here am I, send me. No much I can do, what I have seems so small, but I want to give it all to you. So much to be done, oh Lord. So many souls to be won. Oh Lord, this world is falling apart. Dying for love from a broken heart. Oh, hear my send me. There's really not that much I can do. What I have seems so small, but I want to give it all to you. To reach to the ones nobody does mm, Giving what in the mind I want to be like those who spilled your blood And gave it like water to you Oh Lord, there's so much to be done Oh Lord, so many souls to be won Oh Lord, this world is falling apart for love from a broken heart, oh, here am I, send me, Lord, there's really not the much I can do, what I have seems so small, but I want to give it all to you, yeah, oh, to reach out to them when nobody does, give up my pride and even work in the mind. Who spilled your blood and gave it like water to you? Oh Lord, there's so much work to be done. Oh Lord, so many souls to be won. Oh, this world is falling apart. Dying for love from a broken heart. Oh, here am I, send me. Lord, there's really not that much I can do. What I have seems so small, but I want to give it all to you. Hear my send me. Oh Lord, you said the harvest was great, but Lord, looks like the work has started. It's very hard to understand how they ignore your great command. Oh, here am I. Send me, though you said the ones who labor are few, but my heart is the call, and I want to give it all to you. May it be our confession. Oh, to reach out to those nobody does, give up my pride and even work in the mind. I want to be like those who spill their blood and gave it water to you oh lord there's so much work to be done oh lord so many souls to be won oh, lord, this world is falling apart dying for love from a broken heart oh here am i send me there's really not that much i can do 
what I have seen so I the small. On the... I want to give it all to you. I want us all to sing this bit. Whether you have a voice or not. Here am I, send me. Though there's really not that much I can do. What I have seems so small. But I want to give it all to you. Here am I, send me. There's really not that much I can do. What I have seems so small. But I want to give it all to you. Oh, Lord, there's just so much to be done. Oh, Lord, so many souls to be won. Oh, Lord, this world is falling apart. Crying for love from a broken heart. Oh, here am I, send me. There's really not that much I can do. What I have seems so small, but I want to give it all to you. Here am I, send me. There's really not that much I can do. What we have seems so small, but I want to give it all to you. Father, we thank you so much this morning. What a privilege it is for us. What an honor it is for us. That you will even include us. You will choose us. You will add us to those who can save you in little and in much. This morning, Lord, we open our hearts up to you. And we ask that, Lord, if there's anything in us that you can use, Lord, use it. If there's anything we have that is of value to you, Lord, we give it to you. We give you our hearts. We give you our mind. We give you our love. We give you our talents. We give you our resources. We ask that, Lord, have it. Have it. Use it. The world has distracted us. Life has distracted us. We lose focus sometimes, but Lord, this morning, we ask that as you keep teaching us through your word, may we become more and more useful to you. May we become light in a dark world. May we become a source of direction for many, O oh Lord. And Father, where our very own lives is mess, it being a mess, we ask that you cleanse us, purify us, and use us. For indeed, in a great house, there are many vessels, some to honor and some to dishonor. But Lord, this morning, we choose that you purge us and use us. Cleanse us and use us. May we revive our cities, our communities, our families, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. How many of you know that there's still a little bit more you could do for the Lord? There's just a little bit more you could do for the Lord. Yeah. How many of you sometimes you get even irritated, even in the house of God, that somebody is doing something and you know that you can do it a bit better? But you are sat down with your legs crossed with a few comments to make. May we be released this morning. May we be released this morning. May we be released this morning. You know, I just wanted to have a little conversation with us as we end the month of Anakazo. Like I told you, and I keep telling you that whatever the theme of the month is, it's not that... It ends at the end of that month, but it means it adds on. Now, there's one more thing you know how to do and what to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, you appreciate the value of having the Holy Spirit's compelling power. 
Amen. To do many things. And it is good that every month we have a team that runs through the month and we are taught it. We are taught it deeper and deeper. We are taught it from all angles. We are taught it. We read the verse over and over. And we are going to read the verse again. Because do you know that repetition in anything, repetition of anything has a way of drawing out the spirit in that thing. Has a way of pouring out that spirit. That is why you realize that, oh, it's too early. I should have gotten a better window before, but anyway, we are there. That is why sometimes when you tell a lady I love you the first time, she can ignore you. She can walk off. She can be irritated. She can ridicule you. But when you have an acaso spirit and you say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. One day it will register. One day it will sink in. One day it will land where it has to land. One day the spirit in the thing you are saying will come out. I feel like it's a word for somebody. I feel like it's a word for somebody. Yeah, yeah. Repetition. Repetition draws out. Yeah. Those of us who still don't know how to cook, don't stop trying. Repetition, repetition. <laughs> repetition, repetition. Yeah. Listen, brothers and sisters, all of us must learn how to cook. That generation of men don't cook has long gone. Long gone, long gone. If you go and marry a wife who is a corporate wife and you're waiting for your fried chicken, you, you, be, you keep eating KFC and McDonald's. So, mothers, teach your sons how to cook. Teach your sons how to clean. Teach your sons. Yeah, McLean is a very good cook. Yeah, but you see, they are cooking so that when the need arises, they will be there. But if you're a sister and you can't cook, that one come into my office. Come into my office. But the problem, the thing is that the young men in this church, do you know Joel Lamte? Uh, yeah, Joel Clo, Prince, Mark, they can cook. Chef level cooking. I, 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 I feel like I'm advertising. There are some sisters who can't cook at all and they're like, okay, let me look in that direction better. <laughs> Yeah, because there was a generation before where their parents didn't be allowed the men into the kitchen. Yeah, but, you know, and it was because the women were also not allowed to go and work. Now you are sorting your wife's CV for her to go and work. And then you are waiting for her to go and work and come. Your father did not cook because... Anakazu, we are still talking about Anakazu, Anakazu. Yeah. How many of you feel that holistic knowledge is good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We have very good traditions that we keep, and there are traditions that we must also grow with and then develop in a better way. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And there are traditions that have to be kept exactly how they are. But in this generation, if you're a husband and you're like, I don't want my wife to work, I don't... You, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking about repetition, and I don't know how it got to the women. Yeah. But the reason why even the word of God is not in you is because there's no repetition. There are some verses that the last time you read it was like five years ago. That verse, the spirit in that verse will never come to you. You understand? It will never manifest in your life. Some of us, we like new things. We like new girlfriend, new boyfriend, new shoe, new. Everything has to be new. We don't even want to repeat the rest. We don't want to repeat shoe. We don't want to repeat hair. We don't want to repeat anything. That's why we don't even know what looks suits you. We can't determine. Because just as we're about to say, oh, wigs are nice on you, then you confused us. Hmm. Isn't it? You have to be able to be still. You have to be able to stay with the same thing for a while. 
That's why even your course, you are changing. And you realize that when you change your course, you didn't realize the other course you went for was even more difficult. Amen. It was not about how difficult it was. It is you. Amen. Any course they give you will be difficult. Amen. Even dondology, you will struggle. They'll say, here is the drum, hit. You, 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 you will still. Yeah. You have to stay with it. Yeah. There's a certain level of exam results you will never get if you don't know how to stick with something and repeat it. Oh, I finished that day. No, you just finished reading. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do it to my children. When they have read a thing, they're like, they know. I said, close the book. Tell me what you know. Start the one line. It's like, I've got to go back. I said, I know you've got to go back. And that is what our relationship with God must be. That is what we must do with the messages we hear. And that's why Pastor always says that, listen to it again. It's on podcast. There's a reason why the messages are everywhere, because you have to listen to it over and over. Some of you, don't see your two minutes TikTok. You can watch it over and over. Anytime you feel like laughing, go and take it and watch that same thing. Over and over. You watch the same thing over and over and over. And sometimes the joke is even lost. It is that same thing you must apply to the word of God. It is that same thing you must apply. Yeah. You should never get tired of telling your husband, your wife, your children, I love you. You should never get tired of it. Never, never, never. I know a country that when men get married, the I love you goes to girlfriends. It's camp, camp. Tomorrow we are going for camp. I feel like I need to usher you into camp. How many of us are coming for camp? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, I'm preparing us for come because, listen, the reality of the word of God is that it's of no value if it doesn't transform us. It's of no value if it doesn't have an impact on us. It's of no value. Might as well read the history book on Winston Churchill. Yeah. It is important. Yeah. That's why scripture says that, listen, for me to tell you again, for me, it's not grievous. For you, it is safe. And that's why we'll read the verse again. So let's read Luke 14, 23. Everybody in this house must know this scripture by now. The King James says that, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my, that my house may be filled. The NLT says, so his master said, go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. You know, by the time we even got to this verse, you realize that the master had tried various. This was not the first sending. This was not the first. He had repeated it and repeated it and repeated it. Yes. You know. The NLT uses the word edge. Because, you know, when we say, when we say compel them, we appreciate that it's a force. We appreciate that it's power, you know. One of the things we learned during the week was the fact that, in Acts 2, was the fact that when the Holy Spirit appeared, it compelled them and propelled them into the place where they had tenacity and they became audacious. But I was looking at the word edge, and it says that, Try endlessly, persistently to persuade. Endlessly, persistently to persuade. Endlessly, persistently to persuade. Endlessly, persistently. One of the places I've been using it lately this year, I've used endlessly, persistently with um, SSE. Those who have gas bills who know SSE. SSE. Every time the church gas bill comes, I'm on the phone. It's me again. <laughs> I hope you know we are, we are charity. I hope you know we are church. I hope you know we are not a business. I hope you know. I hope you know. You know that. And then I was telling Reverend that if the next bill comes, I've run out of ideas. <laughs> but I will still try and find some persistence there. And after, when the person says no, and I'm like, next who can you pass the phone to? Next, who can? 
until they tell me and they do what needs to be done. I don't put the phone down. If I sometimes if the phone disconnects, I call again. Or if I'm not getting anywhere with the person, I put the phone down. Then I try again, hoping that somebody else will pick. It also means to encourage someone strongly to do something. Or also to ask someone to do something with passion and to be unrelenting. To encourage someone strongly. You yourself are encouraging strongly. And also to ask that something be done by someone with passion and be unrelenting. These are traits we must have in life. It also means to persuade in something you believe in and in something that is very important to you and to the one you are persuading. I like this one very much because it says that to persuade in something you believe in and something that's very important to you and to the one you are persuading. And it made me realize that a lot of things that we hear from the pulpit, we read in scripture, we listen to, we don't believe. We, are, we don't believe enough to be able to want to persuade others. Yeah. Because you can persuade better if you believe in it. If you believe in it. You see, if I have to persuade somebody to be a vegan, I will fail. I will totally fail. I have no belief that herbs and plants are the only part of my meal. I don't believe in it. So even if I hear, I hear about all the medical ben benefits of being a vegan, I will literally come and lecture you on it, but there will be no conviction. But if you can't ask me about grilled chicken and lamb, even if you're a vegan, you will taste the lamb. <laughs> Why? Because I believe in it, and it is also very important to me. When you believe, have you seen that even people who believe in themselves, they get shocked when they are rejected by somebody that they go and chat up. Oh. Today, my examples are not going, and, and, and Reverend Joseph says, please, you have to behave. Myself. Listen. When you have belief in a thing, you are able to impact. Sometimes, I remember when we were in high school and even investing in things, sometimes you see somebody and they have a new girlfriend, you're looking at the girl, the girl is so nice, and the guy is fairly on the thing. And you're like, what, the, how, what did this guy say that this, how, what did, what did he say? But you see, you, as you get close to the person, you realize that the person has belief within themselves that they are handsome. And that belief is projected onto others. If we have belief in Christ, our Christianity will be projected onto others. Even when they don't want to listen to us, the level of confidence and belief we have in the word of God will reach them. Because yeah. sometimes when you say give your life to Jesus, they are looking at you and they feel like you actually are the one who needs to give your life to Jesus. You need it to be able to compel others. And you see, it's not that, that you also need it. You need an akaso. You need that edge. You need that power. You need that force. You need it for yourself. There are various areas in our lives that we have. It's about time we look inward and compel ourselves. Some of us, even the reason why we are not coming from camp is from within. I'll get there, don't worry. What are some of the things that we need to believe that will make us real and akazo Christians? The first thing is that you have to believe in the word of God. You have to believe in the word of God. You have to believe in the word of God. Yeah. What's the, what's the song that uh, Prince, we sing something? Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open arms. Oh, let the ancient words impart words of hope 
Words of life, words of hope, give us strength, help us cope in this world where we roam. Ancient words will guide us home. Ancient words ever true, changing me. And changing you, we have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words depart. What's the next verse? Sing it. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own heart. Oh, let the ancient words depart. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Do we believe, do we believe, do we believe that these ancient words have that level of impact? Do we believe that these ancient words, they are words of life, they are words of hope, they are the words that really transform, are they words that have changed us? If you don't believe the word of God, it doesn't matter how much we say, be an anarchist Christian, it doesn't matter how we say, have the compelling, you will not do anything with it. Unless the word of God is something that you believe in and you find important. Yeah. One of the risks we have as Christians is that when you hang around the word of God for a while, you become too familiar. Yeah. Most of us don't benefit from John 3.16 anymore. Because it was one of the first scriptures they made us memorize. And we think we know everything that can be pulled out of John 3.16. If we had a camp and we said this camp is John 3, 16 camp. Be like, hey, Reverend, if your messages are finished, I mean, just let us know. Do we believe the word of God? Do we believe that heaven is real? Do we believe that heaven is real? Do we believe that heaven is real? Do we believe that heaven is a place we are going? Because ultimately... Why do we want to win souls? Ultimately, why are we serving the Lord? Ultimately, why do we want to bring the lost to Christ? If there is no place that they are going, that is different from those who don't serve the Lord. You have to believe that heaven is real. You have to believe that hell is real. You have to believe that those around you, those in your school, those in your workplace, those you hop on the bus with, those you meet, those you encounter, if they are not saved, hell is waiting for them. You have to believe it. You have to believe. If you don't believe it, then you can't convince me passionately enough, persistently enough, earnestly enough for me to mind you. That's why when you don't come to church and you're encouraging somebody to come to church, they look at you like you're not serious. If church was that valuable, how can you don't go? Some of us, we invite people to church. The people get serious with God and now they can't find you. Yeah. You know, when we always talk about eternal life, we always used to focus on the eternal life that Christ gave. But apart from Christ's eternal life, there is eternal life for every human being on the planet. Everybody has eternal life. Location. Question mark. And that is why Christ has saved you and I. Christ has saved you and I so that through us, others will find the right location. Will walk on the right journey. You have to believe 
that salvation is not optional. That salvation, and that's why I get so amazed when you find churches, pastors, trying to equalize, well, so long as you have a level of faith, so long as, you know, we are all brothers and sisters, whether you serve Buddha or you serve Christ or you serve Muhammad, you know, who told you, what, 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 where did you read that? We are one community. No, yes, you are my brother, you are my sister, just as my next door neighbor is my brother and my sister. But I can never agree with you that we are going to the same place. And if you don't have that conviction, you will not be able to even reach out to a Muslim. You will not be able to reach out to somebody who practices some form of religion. You have to be convinced that there is an error there. You have to be convinced. But you see, the world and our generation is trying to equalize everything. And when you believe in the, that level of equality, there will be no need to reach out to certain categories of people. Yeah. Because it's only in Christianity that Jesus declares that he's the only way. Yeah. And he says that nobody can come to the Father except by me. Which means that we can't go through to the Father through John, even through Peter, Paul, as much as they wrote very nice books in the Bible. We can't go to the Father through them. So definitely we can't go to the Father through uh, Muhammad and uh, Confucius. And what's, that? That, what's the Hindu man saying? Sorry? You have to believe that even prosperity, even blessings, for you to have a holistic blessing and enjoy your blessing, you need Christ. Everybody needs Christ. And that is what will make you become somebody who has ABA. Those of us who were not in church on Wednesday, go and listen to the message. Yeah. When you have ABA, you know that there is no way. Anakazo doesn't work, Biazo will work. Biazo doesn't work, Anadeya will work. By the time you've gone from A to B back to A, you will have. Yeah. Having to realize that, listen, as we are all growing up, I know that God will bless us. And you will come to a place where you realize that even though you are blessed financially, you will see that the peace and joy you have is different from your neighbor who is also blessed financially. You see, I'm the unbelievers whose marriage have survived. But still, there is something that only Christ gives. Hmm. Tell somebody I need an okazo. Tell somebody I need to believe. Tell somebody that Christ must be important to me. We cannot win the lost without an okazo. Reverend has taught us so much on that, that you come to realize that Paul had to do everything he could do just so that, you know, he could by all means win some. But when you read that scripture, you realize in verse 27, 1 Corinthians 9, 27. So he talks about that to the weak I became weak. Then verse 27, he says that I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should do. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself must be, might be disqualified. Do you know that? So he was saying that he was a slave to Christ. You know, he was free from the sin and all that, but he was a slave to Christ. When we think of a slave or a servant, we are still thinking about a force. We are, do you know that a slave or a servant has no option? They are forced. They are compelled. And the scripture is trying to let us know that, listen, don't just think about an akazo, don't think about a compelling force for others. Think about it for yourself. How many of you think that there are areas in your life that maybe you have to apply some more force? Yeah, maybe it's your laziness. You have to force, force to get up and pray. Some of you, when the prayer week starts, you are like, this month, me, I'm joining prayer, 530 in Jesus' name. And then Monday, they will wake up. In fact, before, they'll be like, Pastor Sam, Pastor Michael, who is supposed to let us in? They are not letting us in. We are trying to get into the Zoom. We have been waiting and waiting. 
Monday, Monday, 5.30. Tuesday, they would hop in quarter to seven. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. As some of you, this morning, you, you, you gave it to the Lord. You, you, you just dashed it to the Lord. It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. The reason why some challenges are still in our life, some things are not shifting and moving, that we are not compelling them. We are not enforcing the power of the Holy Spirit in that area. Because you see, sometimes even to win souls to Christ, to become somebody that God can use, if there are things in your life that you haven't been able to overcome, the devil will use it to speak loud and clear. Yeah. How do you go and tell somebody that, listen, this nightclub thing, you have to stop. When you to occasionally you go, you don't go as often, <laughs> but you still go. Yeah, because if I, if I come to the nightclub and I see you there, and then two weeks later you come to me and you say, Jesus loves me. I say, yeah, I know, I saw you. <laughs> yeah. There's a price to pay to be an Anakazo Christian. There's a price to pay to succeed as a Christian. There is a price to pay, and it's an individual affair. There are some things that we can't do communally. Yeah, if you have certain addictions, I don't care how much we help you. The rest of it is on you. So Paul was like, I'm going to be everything to everybody so that salvation will reach all the people I come into contact with. Then he put a caveat there. He says that, me too, I have to sort myself out. I have to sort myself out. I, have, I believe that sin is one of the things that weakens the church. Makes the church weak. Makes the church weak. And because of the gospel of grace, we have become, we have poured all our problems on grace. And we are not doing anything at all to help. If you listen to various grace messages, you almost think that I don't even need salvation because grace is already covering me. Let me just live my life. What Christ did for us was to die on the cross. So nobody else has to go and shed blood for salvation. But after that, you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. When the salvation has been given to you. Tell somebody I'm bringing the situation under control. Tell the person, I am bringing my body under control. Yeah. You look at the way you quarrel and you fight. Yeah. Look at, you, you watch yourself when you are manifesting your anger. When you are really annoyed. You, are, you say, yeah, this one has gone beyond, this is beyond the pill. No, 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 no. This one, no way. I'm not going to allow this. Yeah, and sometimes it's the bus driver. Sometimes it's just the woman at the tail. Maybe she scanned something wrong. Just say, I, I feel like I'm preaching to somebody who recently was manifesting. Yeah, going to the shop. Just, yeah, why did you give me the wrong? Hey. Bring your body under. Our issues is not just, you know, every time you are thinking of uh, maybe fornication. No, sometimes it's just our pride which we can't bring down. How do you know you are, pride, you are proud? When you hear yourself saying, why did they talk to me like that? You are proud. You are proud. This, the, 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 do they know uh, my qualification? Do they know how old I am? Because age can make you proud. Qualification can make you proud. Financial advantages can make you. There are so many things. Beautiful eyes, beautiful face. Reverend, beautiful face. Don't know. Pride is easily developed. The reason why sometimes we can't even go and evangelize is because we are embarrassed. What if they throw the flyer back at me? What if they walk, walk off on me? What if they ignore me? What if I'm saying hello, hello? Have you chased somebody and you're trying to say hello? <laughs> yeah. 
people. We need Anakazo to serve the Lord. To serve the Lord. If you think the devil is going to leave you to just serve God, you are joking. You are joking. For those of us coming to camp, camp is one of those seasons where our desire and our love and our heart for God is not a joke. We leave camp. Reverend, have you seen how we feel the week after camp? Oh, if they say we should go to the cross, we'll go to the cross. Until week two and week three. But I was reading the scriptures in Exodus and I realized that Pharaoh will hardly let us go. If you think you're just going to be free, now I, I understand what it means to serve God, so I'm going to serve God. You are joking. You are joking. I'm going to read a few scriptures here because when I saw the scriptures, I thought we need to be reminded of them again, that if we are going to serve God well, we have to have force. Yeah. Because especially those of us who are, want to, from the bottom of heart, would like to come for Wednesday service, but after work, <laughs> Should I take the bus home or should I take the bus to church? Should I go home, have a quick snack, freshen up, and come to church? Knowing that when you get home. Exodus 8, verse 28, the Bible says, So Pharaoh said, all these plagues were coming upon them, but Pharaoh said, I will let you go. Okay, now you guys have just causing problems for me. I will let you go so that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. You can go and serve your God. Only you shall not go very far away and treat me and treat your God for me. You, you can serve God. You, you can, you can. You can serve God. You can serve God. But don't get yourself into too many things. Just you don't. Listen, serving God doesn't take all that. You don't have to be Fasting every month, one week fasting, every month, one week fasting. Why? What? Don't go too far. Don't. Go as far as I can still see you. Do you know that when you serve God to a certain point, the devil can't find you? Can't find you. Can't find you. He needs to be able to still see you. He needs to be able to still see you. That's why he will bring all the very, very, very intelligent reasons why serving God must be rationalized. Exodus 10, the Bible says from verse 8. So Moses, I'm going to read Amplify. Or we should just read it, no, it doesn't matter. So Moses and Aaron were brought back to Pharaoh and he said to them, go, serve the Lord your God. Anyway, I have a question for you. Who specifically are the ones that are going? This is Pharaoh's question to all of us. This you want to go and serve God. Uh, let me find out. Is it that you are just going to be giving a bit more money in church? Is it that um, sort of you add one more service? Or is it that you read your Bible? Now? I want to know specifically. <laughs> you know, wh what do you mean? Just give me a breakdown. Who are those who are going to serve the Lord? Moses said, we will go with our young. We will go with our old. We will go with our sons, we will go with our daughters, we will go with our flocks, we will go with our heads, all of us and all that we have, for we must hold a feast to the Lord. Pharaoh said, the Lord be with you, the Lord be with you, the Lord help you. If I ever let you go with your children, because you will never return, now be warned, you have an evil plan. No way. You can go. Go with who? Those of you who are men without your families and go and serve your Lord. If that is what you want. So Moses and Aaron left his presence. And the devil is still doing the same thing to us. Pharaoh is doing the same thing to us. Pharaoh is doing the same thing. Listen, sometimes we don't realize that even though maybe we give very well in the house of God. It's not just our giving that God is looking for. He's looking for you yourself. He's looking for your intelligence. He's looking for your heart. He's looking for your gift. He's looking for your mouth to use to speak. He's looking for your legs to walk, to go. But Pharaoh is like, 
be serious, Zelda. Be serious, be serious. What do you mean? And you see, sometimes we get convicted. We get convicted and we take a plan that from today, I am going to go all out for God. In my own environment, in that area that I am, in that which I can do, you know, um, um, we just sang the song that, Lord, what I have is small, but I gave it to you. But Pharaoh knows that the thing that you think is small and is nothing, if you give it to God, he will enlarge it. If you give it to God, he will use it. One of the things that I realized is that it is only in the time of, in the house of God, that even 30 minutes is a very long time. 30 minutes is a long time. If we finish service and Pastor Sam says, can we have a little meeting, then we can't breathe. But when you are watching EastEnders Omnibus, did you know EastEnders Omnibus? I think it's the whole week you watch it in one city on a weekend. You sit there, watch all the people walk up that street and down that street. Never will you look at your watch. Never. I have a tradition in my life because I never get time to watch movies and things. So when Christmas time comes and then they give us a break as a church, when Reverend finally allows us a few hours, two days off, I literally spend the two days in my pajamas with my favorite series and I watch the same thing year on, year on, year on. Repetition brings the spirit. Didn't I say repetition brings the spirit? Ah, there are some movies like 24, Prison Break, Suit. I have the spirit in me. You can pray for me if you think that it's so you can pray for me. But you know what? That is three days of my life of no value. So when you are doing it all year round, can you imagine? But that is how Pharaoh draws us. He says, if you want to go and do some, just go to church on Sunday and come. When he says family, it's not just about your pe people. It's also various parts of you. Yeah. Don't. And that's how the church gets weaker. Yeah. But you see that there are religions that when they give, they give all, including their life. You no know way in scripture is it telling us that we should go and even kill ourselves. No way. All he's asking is that maybe check on somebody, visit somebody, call somebody, follow up on somebody, share Christ with somebody, and that one we are struggling with. But it's a scripture there. Pharaoh, Pharaoh is like, nope. You don't need to do all that. You are not a Levi. You are not a pastor. You are not a shepherd. The house of God, the work of God is for saints. Every Christian who has given their life to Christ, every believer who calls on the name of Jesus is a saint. It's a sinner saved by grace. It's a saint. All of us, God can use us for something. There is somebody in this city of Lisa only you can reach. Yeah, only you. But Pharaoh is saying that, I'm sorry, you're not going anywhere. Stop that rough there. You are not. And he, and he even knows why. Because he knows. Some of you, if you allow and give God, give yourself to God, you'll be surprised what he would use you for. What he would use you for. Yeah. Do you know that the people who brought John Wesley to Christ, they didn't particularly do much. The person who led him, who exposed him to the word of God, we don't know much about them. There's somebody that you need to reach. That God needs to do something in particular. Tell somebody this message is for me. Tell the person that this message is for me. I pray that this month and everything that we have learned, we are going to use it. The next thing is that we cannot break barriers without an akazo. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot. Do you know that there are many laws that have been passed, especially in the Western world, that it has taken many decades of a group of people forcing and pushing. Forcing, they try this way, it doesn't work. 
They try this way, it doesn't work. They go and walk in the corridors of fire. They find, okay, then now let's elect people that have that common sense that we are looking for, the kind of sense we are looking for. Let's put them there. And the church is fast asleep. You cannot, there's no way you can break barriers without an akazo. When you look at Ephesians 3.20, it says that according to the power that is at work in us. So God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask, above all that we can imagine, above all that we are thinking. According to the power, according to the force, according to the push. See, I see, see, we have to become people who know how to push. We have to become people who are, know how to push. In your career, you have to know how to push. In your marriage, you have to know how to push. If you feel your marriage is not joyful, push it. Yeah. This morning, I was saying something then um, about something else, but Reverend misunderstood it or whatever. He thought I was saying that he makes me so happy. <laughs> Listen. Listen. And then, and then, and then, and he, and so, because he, because that was what he thought I had said, he said, he said, of course, it is all over you. That, yeah, you know, he went on and on and on and on. Oh, he was really himself. Then after I told him what I, what I actually said. <laughs> but then. After I told him what I actually said, and we talked about that, he came back to. You have to push your force. And he was saying it out of confidence. If you see a marriage and a home that there is joy, people are forcing. People are pushing. People are pushing. If you like, don't push and see. You think joy will just come to your home? You think joy will just come to your life? Hey, Dr. Koto. When Jessica doesn't even want to laugh, make her laugh. Try another joke. But before she closes her eyes, she has to laugh. Something must be funny. Hey! Something must be funny. Something must work. Something. Do something. Do something. Eh, describe her. Tell her you like the way her waist is. You like the, tell her something. Hey. Listen, the church we have is because we are fighting for it. We don't allow gossipers, we don't have to overcome us. We don't allow people to just misbehave. Where you have to be rebuked, you'll be rebuked. You can frown, you can you will be rebuked. When you see children who have been brought up well, where ask them? It was a force. It was a force. Go to your room. <laughs> Mommy, I finished studying. Go and study again. Ah <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was coming down for tea. I'll bring it to you. Go back. I say you have to force. Yes, you are doing a job. Promotion is not coming. You have to force. You have to force. Yes, it may mean preparing better for meetings, preparing better to present yourself, preparing better, become more articulate. You have to force. Don't just slide through, slip through. You know, you are drowsy through. Nothing, you will not succeed. The world has learned it. Have you seen people when they don't like their nose? They go and change it. The only problem is that when you change your nose, it doesn't fit the mouth. You see, you think God is not wise. He made your nose to match your mouth and your eyes. The three, all of it is in proportion. When you change one, one goes off. When you go and try and correct the other one, then the other, and the more you try and correct, the more it gets worse. So eventually when you see them, you think they're disfigured, but you have paid thousands and thousands of pounds to look the way they're looking. Preach, pastor, preach, pastor, preach, preach. (laughs) 
I said, anakazo, anakazo, anakazo. People are using it for all kinds of things. May the children of God begin to use it for the things of God. Amen. Haven't you realized Donald Trump's wife, when she passed away, and then I saw pictures of her. Then I saw pictures when she was 25, when she was 30, when she was 30. So I went to investigate. I said, no, 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 no. You don't grow old in this direction. As she was growing old, her lips were getting bigger. <laughs> her nose was going in a certain direction. And they said that she had a special doctor, the most expensive doctor in Europe, who used to cut parts of her body. So sometimes you'll take flesh from somewhere to fill up where you want filled up. <laughs> it's amazing, you know. We are not content. So you find celebrities who are flat chested, then you go and buy breasts. You find celebrities who have plenty breasts, then you go and cut some. They are forcing. They too, they are forcing. It is about time we too we forced. We have to force so that Liz will listen to us. Pastor William, you have to force so that Bradford will listen to you. Pastor Kian, you have to force so that Hall will listen. Pastor Mike, you have to, all of us, we have to force. You have to force so that your, wherever your chapel is, they don't listen to you. Those of us who are teachers, force. Yeah. If you're a doctor, force. Whatever you are, force. Force, force, force. Let your faith go with you wherever you go to. Let your faith go to you. Those of us who were here on Friday, Reverend was telling you, I was going for a very big meeting on Thursday. After the prayer meeting, my pastor, you see, there are different prayers. If you want pastoral prayer, you don't go and say, say that Chris. Hey, it's not Chris, oh. <laughs> that's my pastor. Pastor, pray for me. Because I know that some may be coming with their confidence. I'm coming with the Holy Spirit. I'm coming with my faith. I'm not leaving my faith behind. I'm using my faith to press through. I'm using my faith. You have to begin to appreciate the value of your faith and use it. It is a weapon in your hand. It is of value. It is the currency God has given to you to buy anything. Force. Force. Pastor Sam, you have to force. COVID is over. It's about time you started having two services again. You have to force. Yeah. You have to force so that the people will wake up. Hey, 8 o'clock, first service, 8 o'clock, it will be early. Force. When you have work shift and it starts at 5 a.m., don't you go. You are alone at the train station, you are there. Even when there's noise, woo, woo, you're fine. So long as you get to work on time. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. The last thing is that may we have an akazo so that we can make things happen. We can make things happen. Jeremiah 1, you know, it's like, how am I going to do this thing? What am I going to do? Put it up for us. Jeremiah 1, let's read that scripture as we go. Yeah. We make things happen. Make things happen. I pray that we, have, we are going into August, September, October, November, December, January, next year. Let's read from verse 7. I, I want you to force and cause things to happen. The things that you had been thinking about, the things that you have been planning, the things that you have written in your uh, diary, the things that you have written in the little notebook, the things that you are planning to do, the things that make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. As a church, 2022, we said that this church building will be paid for. What did we do? We made it happen. How many of you know that it took some force? How many of you know that it took some shamelessness? How many of you know that? It didn't just happen because we thought about it, dreamt about it. No, no, no. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all, you shall go to all to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Do you know that? That is why Joshua, who is an army commander, a general, if he was in our generation today, he would know how to use AK-47, R, whatever, whatever. The Lord told him that be courageous, be bold. Don't be afraid. Hmm, keep going. Verse 9, 
Do not be afraid of their faces, for I'm with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Next. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my word in your mouth. The Lord has touched us. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You don't know how anointed you are. You don't know how gifted you are. You don't know what the Lord has placed on you. Give us verse 10, the last one. Let's read verse 10. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, and to build, and to plant. That is the word of God to us today, that he has given us the nations. He has set us over nations. He has set us over cities. He has set us over kingdoms. He has set us up in our community. He has set us up. Whatever we root out, whatever we pull down, whatever we have to destroy, he has given us that grace. And whatever we have to plant and whatever we have to build, God has given it to us. May it happen in your life. May it happen in your life. May it happen in your home. May it happen in our church. Rise up onto your feet this afternoon. Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. God has given us so much. God has done so much for us. God has given us so much. We have a lot to thank him for. That he's given us this wisdom. He's given us this grace. You know, uh, Paul told Timothy, he says that endure hardness as a good soldier. It's not going to be easy, but the Lord is going to help us. The Lord is going to help us. Yes, we can hear the message. Yes, our heart can be quickened. Yes, we can say we are ready. But many things are going to befall us to derail us to just demoralize us, to demotivate us, to discourage us. But I just want to remind you that God's word is always true. God will never fail us. He will never fail us. If he has said it, his words are yea and amen. His promises are yes. His promises are yes. It shall be so. It shall be so. Lift up your voice. I don't know what you're expecting in this month of August that we are walking into. But I want you to go into that month of August with boldness, with courage, with the Holy Spirit, that power of the Holy Spirit pushing you and urging you. Just pray for yourself. 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 Oh, what are we? Lord, we are withholding nothing. Lord, we are withholding nothing. We are withholding nothing from you. We are withholding nothing from you. All we are, all we ever hope to be, Lord, we laid. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
thank you this afternoon. We ask, Lord, I pray for everyone in this room. First of all, Lord, we want to thank you for salvation. For salvation. If you are here, you are not saved. This will be a good time to make it right with the Lord. You cannot go enforcing laws that don't apply to you. You cannot go enforcing promises that don't apply to you. The promises are for those that are his. This afternoon, I want to give you an opportunity if you don't know Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. It is because of you and it was because of me that he came and died. The work on the cross is a finished work. It's not a partial work. It's not a part. And it is a free gift that he gives to all of us. If you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, just lift your hand up wherever you are. I'll lead you in a short prayer so that as you walk out of here, you can also walk in the blessings. You can also walk in the wisdom that we have received. You can also partake of it. Father, we thank you for salvation. I pray that, Lord, you will quicken our hearts. For those who still don't know you, Father, I pray that you will touch them. Touch them. And Father, I pray for everyone in this room. I pray, oh Lord, let there be a shift. Let there be a change. For the better. In their walk with you. In their lives. Father, from today, because of your word, because of what we have received in this month, may we go forth in that boldness. May we go forth in that courage to take that which belongs to us. Since the days of John the Baptist until now, O oh Lord, your kingdom suffers violence. And those who have that violent force, we take it. May everyone under the sound of my voice Go forth and take that which belongs to them. Take their place in your kingdom. Take their place in your house. May everyone under the sound of my voice serve you with all their heart, with all their might, with all their soul. Let Pharaoh not have advantage over us, O Lord. Let the world not have advantage over us, O Lord. May we have advantage over it. Use us. Anoint us with fresh oil. Anoint us with fresh oil. Anoint us with fresh oil. That anything we do, Lord, we will do it excellently. Anything we touch, O oh Lord, will be fruitful. That your church will be fruitful. That our faith will be fruitful. That our lives will be fruitful. That we'll be blessed spiritually, physically, emotionally. We'll be blessed. Financially, we'll be blessed that others may receive that blessing through us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please take your seats for just a second. And um, some of you don't know it, but Chris and Jazz had a baby. I think the baby has been brought to church. <laughs> the baby, so please, after church, make sure you say hello to Ezra's. Is there a little sister? Ezra, do you have a little sister, a little brother? I can't hear you. Sister, yeah, I thought so. So Ezra now has a little sister. He has to look after somebody, you know. So we are very blessed and happy. And at the appropriate time, we will dedicate the baby. For those of you who don't know, Chris is actually one of the oldest church members in this church. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Now. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Nyako will beat him small, slightly. But we thank God for that. And um, I just want to reiterate that tomorrow comes starts at 6 a.m. 
let's, and this is the shortest camp we have, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I mean, what are you even going to do with the rest of your time after 6 p.m.? The idea is that so that you sleep, 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 between 6 p.m. and sleep, okay? And, and then, it's, yeah, so you have 12 hours to sleep. Yes, yeah, and then we are doing that. Friday, we'll finish at 5 p.m., and then, yeah, um, yeah Pastor said he gave us one hour break. <laughs> Friday, you give us one hour break. I saw your, this thing, two of us. Why are you behaving? I'm giving you an answer. So, Reverend says that, no, we'll finish much earlier, have a rest, and then convention will start at 6 p.m. And for those of us who are part of the camp, this year's camp, because it's so short, we are not going to be having so many breaks. They are going to have um, pastries and things for, um, what do you call it, croissants and all that in the morning. They are going to have some snacks, and then they are going to have a packaged meal for us when we finish. You can eat it, go home, and sleep. So you don't even have to cook. Yeah. I just heard somebody say, but Reverend, you don't know what my breakfast is like. It's not croissant kind of breakfast. <laughs> I heard you, I heard you, I heard you, I heard you, yeah. You see, I, I come from a land where breakfast is rice and chicken stew. <laughs> I mean, that's the lightest. They can go further. They can go even deeper. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I know, yeah. <laughs> Some people actually, actually sweat to have breakfast. <laughs> but we're having camp. Don't eat heavy. Reverend says that there's no breakfast, so I have to have my this thing before I come. Six o'clock, you come and sleep if you have eaten, you know. Come focused, come prepared, come equipped to receive. And for those who have paid for their registration, I believe that your hoodies will be available. We are going to wear the hoodies um, during camp. Yeah, Charity, don't put it out there. Put all the hoodies in my office first. Pack it up, please. Yeah, go and tell her. I saw, I saw from afar. Yeah, so if you are going for camp, wait in the foyer. They will bring their, 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 yeah, tell her to pack it up and go and put it away. And then just wait. I already prayed today that don't be in a hurry. If they're not going to give it to me immediately, I'm going home. Go, go, home. go, home. go, home. go. Home. Yes, and whatever T-shirt, uh, hoodie you get, just take it. Orange doesn't suit me. Yellow doesn't suit me. Blue black doesn't suit me. Black doesn't suit me. It's not the hood. It's you. Just, just wait. Yeah. These are all things that happen every camp. When I'm saying, you'll be like, how do I know? I, I know I know already because every year we go through it. I don't like blue. I only wear black. I don't like yellow. Red is not my color. Just wait. It's for camp. Nobody's coming to look at you. Those looking for husbands or wives, they are not here, brother. The orange will work. You never know. It's because you haven't worn orange before. That's why no girl has minded you. Wear the orange. You'll be surprised today. That they, 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 they. <laughs> yeah, we want to pray for uh, 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 Minister Kiran and Honorable Inok. Honorable, 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 Honorable. And anybody else who celebrated their birthday this week, please come. Ah, Joel. Joel. Joel is taking, so don't look in his direction. Like. Joel is long gone. Honorable is taking. Um, Minister Kieran. <laughs> Listen, I, I need to. Oh, please. Please stand here, pastors and ministers. Joel is not available. Honorable Enoch is not, Reku is not available. Minister Kiran is complicated, according to his father. <laughs> it wasn't me. I just had to quote what his father said. Yeah. July is a great man. No, he's not available. <laughs> It's complicated. Very, very complicated. Extremely complicated. Let's, <laughs> let's stretch for the hand. Uh, I think I also make it even more complicated. Please stretch for the hand. <laughs> oh, gosh. You should choose your mother's wisely. <laughs> 
Stretch forth your hand towards them. These are three amazing people, you know. One of the people who makes me so proud is Joel Lamte. Yes, Joel is a sign and a wonder. Shows you that when you serve God, the Lord always remembers you, you know. And that's why, you know, I was, I'm not going to talk about that, Joel, I promise. I want you to stretch forth your hands towards them and convert every happy birthday wish into a prayer that the Lord will bless them, that the Lord will help them, the Lord will give them long life, the Lord will prosper everything that they do. Anything that concerns them, Father, we place it in your hands. Deliver them from evil. Deliver them from unreasonable people. Deliver them from evil men, O oh Lord. Father, order their steps to good places. May they find favor wherever they go. Father, I ask that you will bless them. Bless their going out and their coming in. Bless them, O oh Lord. May they be elevated. May they be elevated in everything that they do. May they be elevated. Lord, as they continue to serve you, as they labor in your house, Father, I pray that you will prosper every area of their life. May they prosper in their careers. May they prosper in their homes. May they prosper in their finances. May they be a channel of blessings to many, O oh Lord. Father, use them, Lord. In your kingdom, use them. Use their gifts, use their talents. Every secret prayer of theirs, Lord, may it be answered. I plead the blood of Jesus over them. Cover them. Cover them. Hide them under the cross, Lord. Hide them behind the cross. May they not be seen. May they not be seen. May they not be seen. Anoint them with fresh oil. Anoint them with fresh oil. Lord, I pray that that which they have waited for for so long, may it happen suddenly. May it happen suddenly. Lord, we thank you. May they be a blessing to their generation. May they be a blessing to their families, oh Lord. I pray that everywhere they go, may they have an impact. May they have an impact. Bless them with good things. And may your goodness and mercy follow them all the days of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy birthday, happy birthday. God bless you. God bless you. Joel, I feel like the water didn't touch you. <laughs> come, and, come and get your water. Let's rise up onto our feet. <laughs> Oh, Minister Sheila, Minister Sheila is like, oh, my son. Oh. It was his father. It wasn't you. <laughs> oh, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord be with you throughout this week, throughout this month of August. May the Lord be with you. May your angels stand on guard, watching over you, going with you wherever you go, and bringing you back safely. Father, I pray for joy. I pray for peace. I pray for laughter in every home represented here, O oh Lord. Any area of our lives that we are weak, Father, I pray that you will strengthen. Anyone in this room that is discouraged, Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit will encourage them. Father, may they go and find good news at home. May they receive good news in this week. Father, we thank you for healing, oh Lord. Anything that is dying in their lives, Lord, may it be resurrected. We thank you. We bless you. We commit the camp into your hands. We commit the convention into your hands. Let lives be transformed. Let there be great testimonies. Let there be signs and wonders. Let the Holy Spirit come and transform us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.